So let's get started in an easy seat. Welcome to Power in Your Presence, a little 30 minute pick me up. So drop right into your body. Your hands can be on your knees, down, up, one of each. They can even be at the heart. If you can, gently close your eyes. Imagine a string at the crown of your head, pulling the head towards the sky as the sits bones remain rooted deep to the earth. Begin to notice a little more space between each of your vertebra. And the shoulders drop from the ears. This morning I was making breakfast and nicked my finger with a knife. It was a moment of, oh, <laughs> and then a moment of recovery. So there are certainly moments of pain that draw us directly in to the moment. They scream at us a little bit and they are unavoidable. The intention of this practice is to allow you to pull yourself into the present moment when the body whispers, as opposed to waiting for a scream. This power practice might ask a lot of you, but know again that the power isn't in the movement or the pace of the movement. The power is in your ability to stay in the moment you're in and adjust accordingly. Know that a beauty of this virtual practice is that you choose you all the time. And it's the beauty of, of the practice, whether here in your home or your office or in a studio, you choose you in the moment. But really tap into that freedom as you are practicing virtually. Together, let's take a deep breath in Open the mouth and sigh it out. Again, inhale. Open the mouth. And a third time, inhaling through the nose. Sigh it out. Inhale, reach the arms above the head. As you exhale, gently turn to the right, left hand to right knee, bring the right hand behind you, lift through the spine, maybe allow the eyes to drift over the right elbow. Just a little, little turn, a little twist here to wake up the spine. Influencing that inner fire, inhale, lift the arms up, and now take that turn to the left, left hand back, right hand, left knee, lift up through the spine, take the eyes over the left shoulder, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, come back through the center, reach both arms above the head. Bring your hands to the mat, tap your feet out, come to tabletop pose. Neutral spine, cat cow. Again, just encouraging that mobility of the back body, and that awareness of your core. Inhale to drop the belly. Exhale to round and tuck. Inhale, lower. Exhale, round and tuck. Lower the belly. Round and tuck. Drop into a neutral spine. On an inhale, take the right leg back, flex the right foot, feel the length of that right leg, keep the chest between the arms. On an inhale, float the right leg, turn the right toes out, exhale, right knee, right elbow. 
Take the leg back. Tap right knee behind the left and scoot your sits bones back. Again, inhale, lengthen. Right elbow, right knee, right elbow. Take the leg back. Tuck. Drop the hips. And inhale, lengthen, elbow to knee. Take the leg back, tuck and drop the hips. Inhale, lengthen, elbow to knee. Take the leg back, tuck and drop. This time, extend that leg back. Bring the right foot outside that right hand. Curl the toes under, lift up, high lunge. Lower the hands down. Take the right leg back, tuck, squeeze the knees. Inhale, lengthen, right foot outside, right hand, lift up, high lunge, lower down. Take the leg back and tuck, squeeze. Again, inhale, lengthen, right foot, top of the mat, high lunge. Stay here, breathe in, breathe out. Full breath in, hands to the mat, Tabletop pose, cat cow. Drop the belly and round the spine. Drop the belly, round the spine. Neutral. This time the left leg, take it back. On the inhale, float the leg, turn the toes out. Squeeze elbow to knee. Take it back. Tuck the knee and drop the hips back. Inhale, extend. Keep drawing the elbow and the knee together. Lengthen, tuck. Right, so you know the movement. Allow yourself to move with the breath, taking the leg back on the inhale, squeezing on the exhale. Knee to elbow, back, drop in. Allow the movements to come from your center. This time, take the leg back, bring the left foot outside the left hand, rise up, high lunge. Lower, drop the knee, left leg back, tuck and squeeze. Lengthen, left foot, rise up, lower, squeeze. Lengthen, left foot, High lunge, lower. Lengthen, left foot forward, high lunge, stay. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, allow the breath to settle, that beat of the heart. Again, feel that strength bubbling from the ground through the fingertips. Hands to the mat, this time high plank pose. Inhale, exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, lift the chest, low cobra. Exhale, lower, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, bend the knees pretty deeply here. Feel the sits bones draw directly back. Right, feel that energy. And then on the inhale, pull forward to plank. Exhale, sink back. Plank, sink back. Inhale, plank. Sink back, plank. Sink back. Move with your breath. Move as fast or as slow as you feel ready for in your body. Next time you're on plank, stay breathing. Breathe out. Another full breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, lift, low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, lift your heels. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Reach the arms above the head. Take a side bend to the right, pause here. And then little pulses to the right. 
Feeling the extension of that left side body. Inhale through the center. Take it to the left. Again, tiny pulses. That right side body reaching, lengthening. And allowing the tissues to glide underneath the surface of the skin. Coming back into that idea of fluidity. And then inhale through the center. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. High plank pose, breathe in. This time roll forward onto the toes, lower halfway down. Chaturanga, up dog as you lift the chest forward. Downward facing dog as the hips roll up and back. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Draw the right knee to the right elbow. Take the leg back, cross right ankle over left leg, bend the elbows halfway, lift up. Bring the right foot outside the right hand, rise up, crescent lunge. Breathe in, breathe out. And this time, palms to heart center, prayer twist to the right, left elbow, to that right thigh bone, take the eyes over the right elbow. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, high lunge, lift up. Hands to the mat, standing splits pose as that left leg floats up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, tuck left knee behind the right. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back to standing splits or balancing half moon pose as you tip that left hip towards the sky. Flex the left foot. Inhale, exhale. Left palm down, left foot, top of mat, chair pose, drop in. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale through the center to the left. Inhale through the center, both arms back, lift the heels up, balance on the toes, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, keep the toe balance, lift the arms up, and then gently begin to squat all the way down, heels high, hips low, stay in it, palms to the ground, drop the heels, lift the hips, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, high plank. Roll forward, chaturanga, up dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Left knee, left elbow, take the leg back. Cross the legs, bend the elbows, lift up. Unwind the legs, step the left foot forward. High lunge, rise up, breathe in. Prayer twist to the left, right elbow, left thigh. Fire up that right leg and come into your breath. Come into the moment, feel the mat below your feet. That is powerful when you are here where you are, not where you're going. Inhale, unwind, high lunge. Hands to the top of the mat, standing splits pose, that right leg floats, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck right knee behind the left. Stay here, feel that left thigh bone turn on, squat a little deeper. And then standing splits or balancing half moon. How you accommodate this side may be different, so plan and move accordingly. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring the right foot to meet the left. Chair pose, inhale. Open arm twist left first. Inhale through the center to the right. Through the center, both arms back, lift the heels. Balance, drop the hips. 
Inhale, reach the arms forward. Drop the hips all the way down. Breathe in, breathe out. Stay broad across the heart. Let it be a little wobbly. Appreciate the body's ability to balance. Nice, drop the heels, hands to the ground, hips high. Inhale, lift halfway. Hands plant, chaturanga, lower. Inhale, lift. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. And this time, split the right leg towards the sky. Tip your right hip open, bend your knee. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. One leg at plank pose, wrap the legs up, bend the elbows, press up, unwind the legs. High lunge, inhale, reach the arms above the head. Take that prayer twist to the right. Fire up that back leg. Inhale, unwind, reach the arms above the head. Back heel down. Proud warrior, draw the arms back, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Rinse the shoulders. Just release the hands to the ground, low lunge. Inhale the right arm towards the sky. Draw the navel towards the back. Bring the right palm down, left knee down. Inhale, extend the right leg back. Inhale, lift the left knee. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Take the leg back. Right foot forward, come back, high lunge. Feel your center, standing splits. Palms to the ground, float the left leg. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold and tuck. Get really, really little. Breathe in. Breathe out. Standing splits or half moon pose. Breathe in. Maybe this time, if you are in standing splits or half moon, you begin to float your hands off the ground. Feel your center, feel your core, feel your connection to the earth. <laughs> and again, appreciate your ability to bobble and come back. Whatever that top leg is, little, little pulses. Ooh. <laughs> stay focused, stay focused. Little pulses. I right, appreciate the challenge. The body is so capable when the mind moves out of the way. Breathe in, breathe out, come to stillness, reach. Chair pose, top of the mat, drop in. Lift the heart, open arm to the right. Inhale through the center, to the left, through the center. Both arms back, lift the heels. Take the arms forward, drop the, he the hips, breathe in. This time, prayer twist to the right, keep the heels high, inhale through the center, prayer twist to the left, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, unwind, drop the heels, lift the hips, inhale, lift halfway, fold, high plank, chaturanga, lift the heart, down dog, lift the hips. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, left leg high. Tip the hip, bend the knee. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, squeeze. One leg at plank, wrap the legs up, bend the elbows, lift up. Left foot steps forward, high lunge, inhale. Prayer twist to the left. Draw the navel away from the waistband. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, unwind. Bring your hands to the ground, lower the right knee down. Inhale, take the left leg back. As you exhale, lift the right knee, tuck left knee to the nose. 
Take the leg back, step the left foot forward, come back, high lunge, back heel down, proud warrior, lift the chest, humble bow, fold. Drop the head and shoulders to the ground, relax the jaw. Release the hands to the ground, low lunge. Inhale that left arm towards the sky, rinse. Left palm down, standing splits pose, right leg floats, lift the chest. Exhale, full tuck. Get really, really little. And then expand, half moon or standing splits. Again, each side can vary here. And again, maybe you begin to float that bottom hand or float both hands. And then little pulses with that top leg, feeling the stability of the hip. And, and, and notice the remarkability of balance on each side being a little different. Right, just indicative of the changes occurring in the body always. And when we can be aware of these little moments of change and shift, well, that's magic. Ooh, come back to the top of the mat. Chair pose, drop in. Last chair sequence here. Open arm twist to the left. Inhale through the center. To the right, through the center. Both arms back, float the heels. Hands to heart center. Take that prayer twist to the left first. Inhale through the center and to the right. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale through the center, breathe in. Drop the hips down, come back, boat pose, float the legs. Come back to your middle. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your feet to the mat, cobbler's pose, lift the chest, fold. Stay rooted through the tailbone as the chest drops. Another cycle of breath here. And then inhale, let's float back to boat pose. And then cobblers, lift the chest, fold. Inhale, boat. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, feet to floor, cobblers, fold. Stay here. Know you can always adjust where the heels are in relation to the body. The further away the heels, the, the less intense the pose. No better, no worse, just less intense. So again, your practice, your moment, adjust accordingly. Again, the power lies not in the pace of the movement, the power lies in seeing clearly your choices and making them. Begin to lift yourself up. We're gonna keep the shape of the legs, but you're gonna turn the torso over the right knee, the right hand comes back, lift the chest and then fold. Feel a nice stretch in the low left quadrant of the back. Your palms can be off the ground, finger pads down. And then inhale, lift yourself up, reset. And now walk your hands, frame the left knee, lift the chest up and fold. 
So here you're getting the hips, the low back. And see if you can release the knees a little more so that you slide yourself right past that, that common resistance. And it's almost an innate resistance. So allow yourself to drop right past that line. It's like going below the surface. Nice. And see what happens. And then inhale, lift yourself up. Bring your palms behind you, fingertips facing the front of the mat. And bring your knees towards the ceiling, feet to the mat. I'm going to say uncross the legs, but they weren't really crossed. So feet to the ground. We're going to lift up to a reverse tabletop here. Feet press down. Inhale, lift the hips and lift the torso. Let the head fall back if that works for you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, inhale. Exhale. And if you have a lion's breath in your practice, one here, that means we're going to stick the tongue out on the exhale. Inhale. Breathe in through the nose. Stick out the tongue. Nice. Gently lower the hips to the ground. Lower the spine to the ground. Gently rock from side to side on the low back. And just notice as you drop into stillness how you feel. Maybe there's a dampness to the skin now from sweat. I know I started the practice feeling a little chilly and now I'm not. Just notice that Sweet pulse of energy, blood flow below the surface of the skin. Take your arms out like a T. Gently lower the knees to the right as the eyes look to the left. Feel that left shoulder melt towards the ground. Gently slide the breath to the left rib cage. Inhale. And linger on the exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, travel through the center. Drop the knees to the left, eyes to the right, soften that right shoulder to the ground. And linger on those exhales. But continuing to notice that softness of the inhale as the rib cage expands towards the shirt. And we'll come back through the center. Breathe in. Gently forehead to knees as you breathe out. And then come into Shavasana. And you can always opt for constructive rest, which means the feet are on the mat and the knees are bent. You can opt for Supta Baddha Konasana if that feels good. Legs up the wall. And the power is in your presence and the clarity of your place in the moment and your ability to choose wisely.
stay here and feel yourself being held sweetly by the mat. Or using the mat as that place of source from which you will continue your day. Gently bring your knees one leg at a time back towards your body. Rest on your favorite side. Pause a moment. And then press yourself up to an easy seat. Rooted through the sits bones. Feel a lift in the heart. And a clarity to the mind. It all rides along that courage of your spine. Together, breathe in and breathe out. Again, inhale, exhale. Palms to heart center. Know anytime you need to be reminded of your power just deepen your breath. Allow that breath to pull you right into the body, right into the moment. Gently open your eyes. Namaste.